What up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, as you guys saw by the title of this video, we are building a boat out of aluminum foil and we're gonna try to put it in here and see if it floats. What we should do is like roll out all the um, sheets, like a bunch of them, like in a big, sh so make one fat sheet, right? So we roll a bunch of them out, twirl the ends, like the full length of them. Right. And then we roll the other ones the opposite direction of that, right? And then we twirl the ends, so make them like sturdy so they all hold together. And then we wrap that around the skeleton that we build out of the PVC pipe. Yeah. Makes sense? Because completely out of foil would be like kind of, I mean, if we really want to get crazy, we could use the, the tubes from the foil as the skeleton, but I feel like that's just too much work. Depending on how stable. I could use the tubes, I'd have to duct tape them all together. If it's supposed to support us, I don't think it's gonna work like that. I think PVC is not. I just want it to at least float with one person inside. So you'll be the test dummy. Me? You're wearing shorts, you know how to swim, right? Yeah. I think it'll work, bro. Yeah. I'm so. also wearing bait, too, so. <laughs> You're really gonna be dripping. <laughs> really dripping. <laughs> Did you say that? Aluminium? <laughs> aluminium? I don't know how to say it. You say aluminium? aluminium? How, how would you say aluminium? Aluminium. aluminium? aluminium. Is it? Aluminium? That's but how they say it over in the UK. Yo, can you bring a cart, bro? Yeah. This is not bad. I could triple quadruple layer this. It'd be good. Let's start counting on oh, one. Yeah. Two. It's going down. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Okay, we're gonna need more. This is only 45. We need about 55 more. So let's take all these real quick, put them in the cart, and then go to another Dollar Tree. Let's do it. Four, four. Oh, wait, we got more 50s. 59, 60, 61. What are you trying to get 100? These are all 40s, I think. Yeah, that's it. We gotta go uh, hit another store. But, but. <laughs> 62. Yes. Sorry. Hell of foil. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see the sheet. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did <laughs> <laughs> you buy it all out? Not yet. Well, I'm, I did from the shelf. I'm, I'm what are you making with all that foil? Boat. A boat? Oh! I'm just making a boat just so I have a boat. Oh, okay. Lots of super glue. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Probably no snails. It's not a challenge. I'm just building a boat out of aluminum. Aluminum. Aluminum foil. Uh, that's going to be 60. Like 69. 69 something. 69.30. Mitch is behind the camera, guys, by the way. He's doing a great job. It's good. I'm actually really good at filming, too, so you'll see. So, to the next location, yeah. Gotta go get more, though. This is not enough. Not nearly. Bag, bro. Almost lost the bag. Secure the bag. Secure the bag. So, okay, guys. So, I guess after we're done building this boat, we're gonna go see how much we can get for it at the recycling place. Uh, for all the aluminium we're using. Aluminum! Right now we are uh, walking into Lowe's and uh, we're gonna look for some PVC piping PVC. to create uh, the skeleton of this foil boat. More like the frame. If we make it kind of like a kayak, like bend them in like this and then do the skeleton part on the bottom like two of these or I should take, let me try a thicker one for uh, the, the top layer and then smaller one for the second layer. Let's just see how that will work. That will work too. So I think uh, I think we'll go with the thicker one and then one thinner one that we can chop up into like the sectional. So I need one, two, three, five of these long ones. Yeah, five. Five of these. And then two of these. They're pretty cheap, two bucks. Now we're just waiting for the cart, but I gotta find um, the connector. Something like this. Oh, uh, corner one. So we need two of these, that's all. We pretty much got everything. We're set to sail, time to go build this shit. But uh, we gotta go buy this first. 
it. So it's gonna go come kind of like this, right? So then this one goes right there, and then one on the back, and then the, the main support one's gonna go on the bottom with two side ones that I'm gonna duct tape to it, and then that's what are gonna be uh, gonna be our spreader thing that's gonna spread it all out to what I need it to be like. I mean, I have a general idea of what I'm doing, but I really have no idea what I'm doing, but uh... So that's where the fun is, right? Yeah. We yeah, don't exactly. know what's gonna happen. Exactly. That's exactly the point. Where is this kid, bro? Raul! Maybe he's having a hard time steering it. <laughs> I think he's lost. Did you hear me? No. I yelled super loud, boy. Alright. Love a lot. What do you think is gonna happen, bro? I don't know yet. Once You'll have to find out. Once that hits the water, it's clearly gonna flow. Yes, it but will. You, yeah, it's clearly but gonna But will flow. it support myself? My you gotta belly. ease into it, though. You can't jump in and potentially cause a I breach. I know, I know. <laughs> it's gonna sink like the Titanic. No, you can't say yeah. that, bro. It's gonna work. Uh, catch a fish out of that thing. If it floats, once he tests it, if I intertwine the foils, I think it won't leak. So no breach. It's about to get real interesting. So I got a really unique flag. It's a bag from a camping trip, and it works. That's all that freaking counts. Safety first. Safety first always. All right, so basically what we're about to do is, well, we just take a little food break because we didn't have lunch yet or breakfast. Well, I didn't. I don't know about the boys. But um, the plan is I'm going to build the skeleton first just to know what I'm working with. Then I'm going to build like a structure. So I think on that platform right there, we're going to roll out the strips of each foil roll like full length, like, I don't know, 10 in a row or however many. Maybe like, a cross pattern. Well, no, first just lay them all out one way and lay a bunch out the other way and then the third one the same way that we, the first layer was and then we're gonna bind the ends and then that will hold it like one structurally sound basically tarp almost a foil so it'll be like three layers thick and then I'm planning to put the skeleton on top of it on top of the the foil platform that we build and wrap the around. foil around the skeleton and that's gonna be the boat that's the game plan and then we're gonna carry it right there off the dock into the lake and um, I'll jump in it. And he's going to sail in it. And if it sails, I'll try to go uh, see if I can merc some fish. Um, and if it's a good enough boat, I might just uh, I might just keep her. We'll see. I might mean, start manufacturing these ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> link in the description, guys, to buy the aluminum boat. This could be actually a good challenge. Mish made a good point, guys. If I can do this, and if it floats or semi-floats or, like, whatever, there should be a challenge. Like, create boats out of different kind of materials and, like, tag it. And then, I don't know how you should do it. Either DM me or maybe I'll put some sort of link in the description where you guys tag your videos of you making different types of boats out of different random creative materials and if we can see who makes a cooler or better boat or see like who the can top it, yeah you know? that'd be a cool challenge let's try that so that's gonna be the little challenge for you guys if you can do this better so let's we'll see she's floating Whoa. what did i tell you yeah she's floating i want to get in i'm confident in this boat dude it's floating look at that that's fully like i'm just holding it so it doesn't float away it is tippy back and forth. Should I try to get in? So Let's put a couple more layers on The original it. plan was for me to get in, but just seeing how unstable the boat is, I'm gonna pass this over to my boy Dre. I wanna take that post out. It looks tight, but yeah, it's definitely making it top heavy. It up. Okay, a little bit of water, but she's good. She's floating. All right, back to the same spot. Let's add another layer from the bottom, and then take the post out, and then I'm, I'm going sailing. We need to include that. Let me grab my oar, guys. And just before we go, I'd like to give a big shout out and thanks to One Take. Thank to you for Mitch. making this video we'll happen. Thank you for making this shit happen. Full send. Full send right there off the ladder, boy. Let me put my oar in here. I guess the reflectiveness. This is the real deal, people. All right, Drake, good luck, man. Drop it. He's floating. It's floating. Hold the oar real quick. Ah oh, man, I can tell I'm already going swimming. I'm floating. He's floating. He's floating. Get a little closer to the middle. <laughs> Not feeling any freaking water. No breaches yet. Nope, but I'm definitely floating. Once you find your balance point, then we'll give you the oar. Yeah. Oh, these foil balls were a must. Clutch. Okay, ready? Give me my oar. 
We're off, fellas. Wow, this actually worked. Oh my god, Dre! Dude, get that wrap off. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, dude. All right, Yo, okay. go across over here, yeah. I'm still doing it. I'm going to go across the lake and take him back. The fact that you made it back without going in the water is impressive. That's the plan. My yeah. ass is soaked, by the way. She's leaking a little bit. We lost quite a bit of pieces. Grab that. Pull me in. Let me get out. Dude, I'm soaked. My ass is literally, it's, this thing is leaking pretty quick right now. Let me tell you, it's doable. If you probably put some of the rain wrap on top of it, like sandwich wrap, could probably really make this thing work. Alright, you're not too wet, bro. Yeah, just my ass. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to my boy Mitch from One Take for shooting this. For Raul for helping out with the video. Look at this thing. This, who said it's not? Gonna, it's gonna tip over. It's stable as a thing! Because I freaking compressed those things. Yeah. Look at this water in there. Kind of. Oh, yeah, dude, look at that. Oh, it's a hole in there. Yeah, it's breached. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> That thing just ripped straight through. It's it's letting water in so fast, but still, look how long it takes to sink. Look, boy. Look. How many layers is that? This it's is like 11. Four, 11 layers of tin Dude. foil. Still not sunk, bro. Still not wow. sunk. <laughs> look at all the water breaching. Oh my god. Huh? My foil kayak. All aluminum foil. Yeah. Yeah, did you see me all the way out there? It's leaking though, so I gotta pull it out. Uh, it's, it's putting in water, but I think I think it's uh. It's almost fully submerged. It's almost fully submerged. I'm about to pull it out. <laughs> Here, just hand some. Wow, this thing is so much. Crap. Back from battle. Oh, that you guys like that? Awesome. Here, Dre, I'm gonna toss him to you with the oar. All right. You floated. We did it, bro. That shit was sick. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Oh, you the man, bro. Wow, that was way better than I expected. So much better than I expected. Yeah, you were hating before we even started. Dre, what did I tell you, bro? Manifest. I know, bro, I always do. That's why shit works out. I didn't think for a second that it was not gonna work. Yeah, I never doubt myself. What do you guys think the hardest part was, the whole thing? Probably balancing it. Balancing? Finding my balance in the beginning, yeah. Like, that worked. Yeah. Wow. We did it. Just that remaining. Crazy. We made it. All right, guys. Subscribe, whoever stuck around this long, shout out to you, shout out to Mitch, shout out to Raul. If you guys didn't see the middle of the video somewhere I said, I challenge you guys to create something similar or out of any material you can think of that works or improve on this idea, send yeah. me the coolest one. Um, and if it's a dope ass idea, who knows, maybe you'll fly out for the next video. We'll think of something, but definitely uh, you should do that. That would be fun just to see what kind of creativity you guys have. So go ahead and do that. That was sick. I can't believe that's all that's left. I guess that was the most structurally sound part was that freaking skeleton because all that that's our boat right there in shambles rest in peace see you guys in the next video